victory that we have in Jesus Christ. As we come to communion, all those who receive communion in any church are welcome to do so here. This is Christ's table, not St. George's table. And um, as we come, and, uh, just to let you know that we start at this side and work along, and you may stand or kneel as is best for you. Uh, we, uh, this morning, as I said earlier, Massimo will be giving out the bread. And uh, if, uh, uh, actually, there's gluten free bread in case anyone needs that. And that's not to dip it into the wine, but uh, to. We share the cup and then it's cleaned uh, each time afterwards. Uh, there's also a non alcoholic cup if anyone would prefer that. Uh, and as I said earlier, afterwards, uh, at the beginning of the evening, I will head over there and anyone who wants anointing and blessing, please come. All the words you need are in the orders of service and we sing the Holy Holy and we sing the Lord's Prayer, both written by a former member of this congregation. The Lord is here. Is Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things. We were sent by you in your great goodness to be our Savior. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your son born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. And so he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever praising you and singing. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom 
and in her, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, blessing and honor and glory.
Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with body and love for your Son Jesus Christ, through the name of our Lord, of our souls and our bodies, to be a living sacrifice. Send us out with our love your spirit to live and work to your praise and your glory. Amen. Thank you. Can I just say that? Um, available to spend time with people and visit people if you so wish, uh, just contact me. And um, I, my way of working is I don't diary in more than 50% of my time, uh, so that uh, there is 50% for things that arise. Uh, it depends on the week as to how much time there is, but if you ever want us to offload, everything is done in absolute confidence, most of you know, because Debbie is a day and I am. We don't actually share with each other anything unless we're given permission to do so. So uh, please, uh, always feel free uh, just to contact me and say, John, 
well, that's what coffee together. They get them to know me that and that he knows the vestry uh, quite well. Uh, we're actually having part of my interview for coming here. And, uh, so do feel free to contact me. One of two notices as we go into this coming week. Uh, we are blessed by people here who regularly uh, get plants and flowers for our church as part of our celebrations. And uh, there's a box at the back called Donations for Flowers. Do you remember that? And uh, if you uh, anything, any resources you can give. We have uh, difficulty putting coins into banks these days because of laws against money laundering. But we have ways around that. And at uh, the church I was at in southern, in southern Colorado a few weeks ago, so we have two offerings. One is a quiet offering and one is a noisy offering. The quiet offering was for notes. And then they had a noisy offering where the shoot, the person going around, kept shaking the box. And that was people to get rid of the coins that they had. So uh, uh, they just kept them separate until they were able to do something with them. Uh, this next Sunday, uh, the 15th, uh, a week from today at 7 o'clock in the evening is part of the Nid de la Religion de, of the Idea de Vienna, which is the, town, the City Council of Barcelona. And uh, it's going to be a very interesting event. We had a preparation time on uh, Zoom this past week. And we are hosting part of it here at St. George's. Um, I've been cheered. There's something up on the screen about that too. Is that right or going on? Yeah. Um, they have uh, Christianismo Catholic, Christianismo Evangelique or Protestant, uh, Christianismo Orthodox, all three traditions Christian, uh, Christianis, and then we are Christianismo Anglican. <laughs> <laughs> so we can either put us in the category all on our own, uh, I guess they don't really want to do with us. Uh, but, uh, so, sorry? I think that's fine. I think it's lovely. Uh, so that's this coming Sunday, and it's an hour of singing, because they said they want something that represents our tradition. And so Pam, Evelyn, and Emmanuel are each choosing four hymns out of the book, and it's been publicized throughout Barcelona, and we love to have as many of our own congregation there as possible, ones which are well known so we can join in. No idea how many people to expect, but it would be lovely if there's a reasonable number for ourselves. Time just to, it's one hour, from 7 to 8, uh, to praise God together. Um, on the 28th of this month, of September, on the Saturday, there is our annual church picnic, which is going to be in Trondela, as normal, up in the Costa Brava. And I think our mailing is going to have more information on that. And there's a sign-up sheet at the back already. And there's a sign-up sheet at the back. Um, that's just sort of an idea of numbers and, and uh, all the information of how it's structured, what you take, what you don't take. Basically, you take your own picnic uh, and uh, local wine and uh, pan uh, and command. Uh, uh, is that right, pronunciation? Command. Command. Pan and command is available there. So uh, we'd love to see as many of you as possible. There is also a swimming pool. Uh, in the home, so if you're coming and uh, you like to go and go, do bring your stuff for that. Um, during, the month of, yeah, during the month of September, the Wednesday evenings, we're having prayer. Uh, last week was in, in person, this coming week is in Zoom, even though it's a public holiday, we're still having it. And, um, and that's really just to pray and see what God will say to us about the direction of the church as we go forward. Um, Jen. Uh, can I do that from here? Can people hear me enough? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if, if, because we're quite aware of quite a lot of strong Christians coming to church recently, uh, usually we offer prayer for people after the service if they would like prayer for celebration, prayer for traditions, or prayer for other reasons. And it's individual and it's uh, in confidence. Um, and we have a prayer team who participate in that. And if you have uh, either been part of that and feel that that maybe is a thing that you should be involved in, or if you're new and you would really like to take part in prayer, then please can you speak to John, and um, we'll we'll have a think about who we're putting into this prayer team this year. 
Okay, so today there's no prayer after the service, but probably by next week we'll start. Okay? Thank you, Jenny. And just to say that everyone who is part of the team goes through a basic safe guarding process. Everything is confident, in confidence, as Jenny said. Nothing is shared with me uh, without the person's permission, with the exception if there is criminal abuse. That is one exception. But uh, yeah, starting next week. We're starting rehearsals for our Even Song Choir of St. George's Singers, and if you would like to come along, if you read music and can sing harmony and want to sing beautiful church music, then we'll be rehearsing after the service next week is when we start. So come see me, I'm Sherry, hi, and I look forward to meeting you. Bye. Thank you. And just before we do birthdays, um, this coming Thursday, um, and ask your permission, Silas, but just to uh, say Silas is defending his PhD on Thursday. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, let's pray for him as he does that. Also, this is one not to clap at, is uh, we're losing Emma on Thursday. Um, can you stand up? Not everyone will know you. And, uh, she is moving to Switzerland for a period of time, and uh, we pray for you and trust that things go well in your studies and everything else uh, in Switzerland when you're there. It's lovely having you as part of St. Judges. Thank you. And for those who are visiting and those who are new to this congregation, we give a particular welcome today. We tell the big birthdays in this church because people's families are all over the world. Does anyone have a birthday in the last week or the week to come that they would wish to celebrate? Jenny? Wednesday. Wednesday, past Wednesday to come. Okay. Wednesday coming. Mary? Yes. Last Friday. Last Friday, Helen? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> anyone else? Let's sing happy birthday.
you don't want all the profits from it to go to Nestle. <laughs> uh, thank you very much indeed. And our final gift as we grow up to serve God is He is exalted. Let's lift His name on high. Gracious to you. 